Hi, I'm Martha with Outbound Hounds Dog Walking and we regularly use the RDN Trail from Industrial Way to Top Bridge for dog walking as it is an official off-leash area. Hi, I'm Sherry with Dog Tired Adventures. I also walk dogs on the designated trails here. Um, it's a great place to bring the dogs because they don't have to be on leash and it's a chance for them to be out in nature, running, playing with their friends, and sniffing all the trees and stuff that dogs like to do. So we're gonna show you what a typical walk looks like. Okay, key benefit to walking here. Oh well, exercise is key. Summertime, it's shaded. <laughs> so summertime, it's really hot outside. You can still run and not pass out. Right by the water so the dogs can drink water and so, you know, they can stay hydrated. Uh, winter time, oh yes, key for exercise is my knees. If I run on pavement, my knees hurt. So wear and tear on these paths is fantastic as for, you know, I don't hurt after exercising. Oh, even this one of the only off-leash areas to walk your dog and get them good exercise, get them really well socialized. It's a nice trail, it's an easy trail for people with all abilities and it would be devastating to lose this. That's, that's pretty much Well, it. many times we run into older people that have mobility issues. There's one lady that walks here with her old dog uh, she has a walker, so the trails are flat and accessible to all kinds of people. Um, both Terry and I have knee issues, um, and here we can walk for hours without hurting ourselves. So the point being that the trails are accessible. I live and I live in French Creek, and I've been coming here, walking my dog for about two hours for the past 21 years, over three dogs. And for me, I, I'm not a political person, so I have no facts and figures regarding water availability and infrastructure and resources available for all these people. But for someone like me to be able to come here and walk on an even path at my age and do it safely and have the benefits of the, the forest and my, being able to walk my dog and the companionship of meeting people is immeasurable to me. Along the trails here we have registered cookie stops. All the dogs know where they are <laughs> and if I continue walking without giving them the cookies they will sit there to remind me that this is a cookie stop. Bailey, I'd like to introduce you to all of my dogs. Here we have Luca. He's a handsome black lab about four years old. This is Monty. Monty's a golden doodle. Monty, turn around. Monty's a golden doodle. He's about three. Theo, 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 Theo. Theo's a Rottweiler, about a year and a half. Bailey is, uh, we don't know, <laughs> lab cross, uh, probably about five. This is Ellie, this is Terry's dog, Ellie. This is Paco, Dulcie's dog. And this is my girl here, Cody. She's um, Malamute Shepherd, Roddy Border Collie, 11 years old. And that is also a benefit to walking here because older dogs can manage. All of the dogs in my pack have friends that they look forward to meeting here. And so do I, as a matter of fact. I meet up with Linda and Dulcie and Martha. A lot of times Martha and I will blend our two packs and they'll run around and play in the field together. So it's a big play date for the dogs and essential to their good health. 